Residents who purchased land in two upscale Provo subdivisions are now being asked by the Crown Land Unit to either relocate or stay and comply with certain restrictions. That's because, according to government officials, their land is on protected areas. Portions of the subdivisions created in 2007 within blocks 60611 and 60300 fall within the Chalk Sound National Park and Pigeon Pond and Frenchman's Creek Nature Reserve. A representative from the Crown Land Unit said the mix-up resulted from a failed plan to have the areas no longer classified as protected. The representative said the development was allowed because of the lack of available crown land for residential development. Deputy Commissioner of Lands Tatum Claveau said that correspondence was first sent to persons with leases, freehold titles or property within the protected areas in October 2009, informing them that they must either relocate to another parcel of land of equal value selected by the government or remain and abide by the law, which partially states that all protected areas are open for public usage. Meanwhile, Claveau said that the government is in no position to amend the law because of the situation. But who is to be blamed? She said both parties. Firstly, the allocation of the land should not have occurred prior to the rezoning of that area from its protected area status. And also, the owners of the property should have checked with land registry to ensure that the property was free and clear of all encumbrances. This is not something that members of the public do when it comes to purchasing or developing crown land, but since it's done in private land dealings, landowners, she said, should have used their discretion. So what happens next? According to Claveau, replacement lots are now being identified, after which they will be approved by the governor. A letter offering the relocation will then be sent to homeowners with a six-month response deadline. Buildings that are already there might be used for recreational development. Overall, 30 acres of protected land is being fought over, and what we found out today is that one of the areas, Pigeons Pond and Frenchman's Creek Nature Reserve, has an even higher protected status than that of the Chalk Sound National Park because it encompasses all distinct and significant types of habitats found in the TCI. Those affected have since formed a homeowners association making a more unified approach before the Crown Land Unit and is scheduled to hold a press conference within the next two days to tell their side of the story. Now we understand that the majority would prefer to stay where they are because it would be cheaper for the government and their presence will have no environmental impact. For that reason, the Crown Land Unit has invited these homeowners to make a plea before the governor to prove their claims. News 4 will continue to follow the story. I'm here at the Chalk Sound National Park. For WIV4 News, I'm Nakira John.